guys, it's Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a different setting. I am trying to film in my living room today to change things up so if the lighting is a little off or something like that or the sound or whatever, I apologize. But um, today I'm going to be doing my updated what is on my iPhone. I have gotten a new phone since I filmed my last what's on my iPhone. Now I have the iPhone 6, which may not be the newest, greatest iPhone, but um, I figured I'd do an update for you guys and also share with you guys how I changed up my Instagram and how I edit them now because I do do a couple of different things with that also. So yeah, we're gonna get started with that and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, so to start off this video, I have the iPhone 6. Six? I believe it's a 6. I don't think it's the 6S. <laughs> I just have this in the color white and my case is from Amazon. It's just a white case which is really dirty right now so I need to get a new one. But I do have a pop socket on here which I'm obsessed with. I love this thing. So to start it off, my lock screen picture is just me and my boyfriend Zane. So on the first page of my apps, I just have all the basic iPhone stuff. I have the calendar, photos, notes, weather, mail, camera, settings, clock, contacts, app store, iTunes store. I have follow. This is um, Tori. Kelly's fan app. I haven't used it in a while. I should probably delete it. I don't even think she goes on there anymore. FaceTime. I still have Vine. I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know when they're going to delete it, but... <laughs> And then I have YouTube, obviously, reminders. And then I have my Spotify. I love Spotify. It's November 9th and I'm listening to their Christmas playlist. I listen to Christmas pop and today's top hits is like my favorites right now. Then I have my Instagram, of course. You can follow me on there. It's at Alyssa Rose. I take my Instagram very seriously. I love Instagram. It's my favorite social media besides YouTube, if that counts. <laughs> and we'll get into Instagram in a little bit. Uh, and then I have my Twitter. My Twitter is also just at Alyssa Rose, if you guys want to follow me on there. And then I have Snapchat. My Snapchat is Alyssa Rose with two E's. We can take a Snapchat right now. That worked really well. Then we move on to Facebook, not gonna click on there, but I do have a Facebook page, it's called Alyssa Rose, and then I have Facebook Messenger, and then Shazam is for when you hear a song and like on the radio, you don't know what it's called, this app listens to the song and it'll tell you what song it is. My phone is really slow, it takes forever to open these apps. And then I have my subscriber count because I just like to see my subscribers. Moving over here, I just have my little edit folder. I have quick flip because when you take a photo on the front camera of the iPhone, it flips it around and makes it look all weird. So that's why I have that. And then I have the camera connect, which is for my two cameras. I can put my photos straight from my camera onto my phone. Uh, and then I have Facetune. We'll go into that for um, Instagram in a few minutes. And then I have VSCO, which I also use for my Instagram. Moving on to this little social folder, I have Studio, which is where I can see all of my analytics for my YouTube channel on there. Um, and then I have Pinterest, and then my Twitter followers and my Instagram followers. I like to just keep track of everything because I'm crazy. <laughs> These are all the extra things. One thing you do see on here is Dresslink. Um, that is kind of like a Chinese wholesaler website. You can get things for super, super cheap. They just take kind of long to ship, but they have some really cheap, cute stuff that I Love, and sometimes I like to just browse on this for fun. No, this isn't sponsored. <laughs> um, and then on the second page of this is just all of my credit cards and banking and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna go in there. So over here, I have Cam Scanner. This is basically like a scanner, but you do it with your phone. So I use that just for documents and stuff like that. And then over here, I have Postmark, Poshmark. I'm not sure how you say that, but that is where you can sell your stuff and also buy some stuff for super cheap. And then I have the app Wish, which I just got introduced to, which is really addicting. This is just like Dresslink where you can get stuff just for really, really cheap. But there's all sorts of stuff on here. There's makeup, there's clothes, household items, kitchen stuff, all stuff like that. So I think this is a really nice app for the Christmas time. You just have to be careful with quality and stuff like that. Then over here I have You Now because Kira from OK Baby goes on here a lot. So I just keep that on there so I can watch her. This app I'm going to delete because I thought it was an app where I can record my screen, but it wasn't. So if you guys know any good apps, that's why I'm doing it like this because I'm kind of in a rush and I couldn't find an app that would record my screen and make it all fancy so we're doing it like this <laughs> um, so if you guys have any app suggestions let me know in the comments because I need a cool app that can record my screen so moving on to Instagram I'm just going to go through it super quickly because I don't do anything too crazy so this is my Instagram feed as you can see I really like to go with neutral toned I like to go with like browns some whites and some blacks keep it super simple 
So basically going into this folder, these are really the, all the apps that I use. Um, the first thing that I will do is I will go into Facetune and whiten it up. I'm sure you guys have heard this trick before. I mean, I heard it off of YouTube, so. So I'm gonna use this photo as an example. I just recently posted this picture on my Instagram. You can see that it's just really gray and bland. So we're gonna whiten that up. So basically I will go into the whitening tool on this app and I will just whiten the whole entire background. So if I just do that one little corner, if you hit this little blue button in the corner, you can see the difference so you guys can see how much it has already whitened this photo. So after I finish up whitening my photos, I go into VSCO and I will load it into there. So as you can see, it whitens it a lot. This already has the filters that I would put on it, but I'm just gonna show you guys. So basically the filter that I use all the time is called HB2, but I definitely don't use it all the way. Depending on the photo, I will adjust it to how I want the picture to look. After I pick the adjustments for the filter, I will go into this little thing right here and then I will adjust the exposure if it needs to be adjusted. And then sometimes I will also go into contrast depending on the photo and how dark or how light it is. So that's basically how I edit my Instagram photos. I don't do anything too crazy. I think whitening is a really important part if you wanna keep your Instagram um, really bright and eye-catching. So the whitening tool in Facetune is really important. It is $3.99, I believe, or $4.99, something like that. So it is a paid-for app, but I think it's really worth it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions about anything else, please leave them in the comments, and yeah. So that is gonna do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave in the comments some of your guys' favorite apps and things like that. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel, always linked in the top of the description, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah, who's been working so damn hard? You got that head on overload. Got yourself this flawless body aching out from head to toe.